Having problems getting your bed level? Seems like nothing you do, your bed's ever level. Always having to struggle with it? Every time you print it, it's always changing, not knowing why? Well, today, I'm going to talk about why the Ender 3 may be the problem with your X-axis gantry. Join me inside as we try to fix the problem. Hello and welcome to today's video. So, if you saw the first little few seconds, yes, I'm talking about the X, X axis gantry. So, I kept having a problem with my Ender 3 V2 that every time it would go up, I was noticing the right side of my print was always seeming to touch my build plate and be smashed and not print right where the left side was perfectly fine and I was a little confused by this. So I thought, you know, first instinct is always eh, something's wrong with my bed level. Level the bed repeatedly. I use multiple methods. I use the gauge method. I use that bed perfectly level, ready to rock and roll. I would print and it would become wrong. And it was very weird how that was happening. And I got very frustrated with it. And then I started looking at the X axis gantry as it would go up and down the Z axis. And I was noticing the right side of my, of my gantry would sag when it would start to lift. So when it, when it lift, this would sag and then lift up, throwing off everything, which is a pain in the butt. So today we're gonna fix that so my inner three doesn't have that problem because I think I know what's wrong. I think it's a loose set of screws on the left side of the gantry. It could be the wheels are too tight. Um, it could be a few things. So we're gonna explore that. We're gonna get my inner three V2 back up and running. Let's get to the printer. All right, so as I said, having some problem with the printer, and it's all because of this X axis. So basically, you can really see the problem when I just do this. You can see it is just a wobbling. Now, I've already done some prep work to work on this problem. I've already undone the bolts up here, because what we're gonna have to do is take this X axis off. Because what's happening is, basically, it's not level to the frame. So, and since it's wobbling like this, which the problem for me, now your problem may be similar along the lines. There's two ways this one can kind of go. It could be just your concentric nuts right here are loose and you need to tighten them so it's grabbing tighter on the frame. That way it stays where it's supposed to. Mine's not that, but that's one problem, which is just there's a concentric nut right there. You just take your wrench, get it on there and tighten that up to your frame and that will do some of the adjustment. So mine, I've actually got a problem right here where my hands are. So there's two bolts back there that have come loose and I gotta get in there and get them. So the only way to get to them, gotta take the printer apart. So I'd already undone this, four bolts, easy peasy. Now all we gotta do is get this guy off, which I undid the Bowden tube. I didn't need to. I was concerned about power and stretch on that tube. Undoing it lets me have a little bit more cord, basically. But we're gonna take this guy completely off. Just like that. All right. And we're gonna make sure we don't get our cable snagged, get away from the Z-Rod. And as you can see, there's two bolts right there. I'm gonna get them tightened up, get this squared, and we're gonna get this back on there, and we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna get these tightened up. As I said, they're down in here. You actually gotta go through two holes in the plate right there to get to them, to actually get them tightened up. So I'm gonna get this tightened right now. Just get that in there. I'm gonna to try to get those as tight as I can without stripping them. The last thing I wanna do is strip them out. That would be a real bad problem. Oh, and you can see I had a good crank on that one. Always good. Then you can actually come in from this way. Oh, it's hard, but you can actually get your Allen wrench in there. this way. Get it in there and try to tighten it up a little bit more. 
But when you've got it tightened up, see there's no more flex in that bar. Where this thing was just a bending for me earlier. So now we've got this all straightened out. We've got those nuts tightened. We've got no more flex in the carriage, which is great. That's exactly what we want. We want no more flexing right there. So now, to bring this guy back up, making sure we don't get anything where it shouldn't be. We get our wheels lined back up. Get our Z-Rod back in place. Careful not to bend your Z-Rod. So that's a, that's a pain if you do. And we've got that guy back in. We got good movement. So now all I need to do is tighten up back over here because uh, I took it apart to, um, I loosened these so that we could do easily get it off. So once you've got this back on here, you just need to tighten the wheels back up. Get the right Allen wrench to do so. It's not hard to tighten these guys back up. Just get them hand tight. You don't need to over tighten them. Believe me, it's real easy to over tighten them. We've actually got really good tension on it right now, but I am going to kind of toy with the concentric nut here. I don't want it too tight, but I don't want it so loose. And as you can see, there's no play now in this arm. So we should be in good shape to be straight. And one way to test that is we are gonna put this guy back on. This is where we take the handy dandy ruler that we've got and we look at this. So right now, looking back to the top gantry, then if I move over to the other side of the gantry, it should be identical. And behold our stars, we're a little off. I'm gonna do is just to make it easier for me to measure. Right there, we're right at the six. Right there, we're just a little shy, which means I probably need to tighten up a little bit over here. see I'm still not quite straight but I'm gonna make some adjustments we'll come back to it and uh, we'll get this guy straightened out the problem that I'm having to do is just some adjustments over here get these guys good and tight and straight and then once I have that done we're fixed we'll have a level gantry which means I can re-level my bed properly and get it back to printing which is exactly what we want if you guys enjoyed this video today and you like what you saw or what you saw helped you out please hit that subscribe button hit that like button join us for all the other help videos that I put out here I really do, do enjoy making them and your guys' support is always welcome if there's something you'd like to see on the channel leave me a comment I love seeing comments so thank you guys we'll see you in the next video